I told you we'd be back. Hello, welcome back to Super Mario Mayhem. Uh, in the last video, we experienced uh, Crazy Kong. Um, probably the ugliest uh, Donkey Kong port. Important quotation marks that I've ever experienced. And now we're back again with a sequel somehow. I, I don't I don't understand how this came to be, but it exists and it was on the list. Um, before I start, I'd like to give a little uh, story about uh, Falcon, the the people who made this. Uh, beautiful game uh, apparently they got sued by Nintendo in 1982 because they were making unauthorized uh, cabinets of Donkey Kong Jr. a game we will play later down the line and I find that quite funny because these games do feel like unauthorized clones or copies of the game without further ado let's uh get back into it. I'm probably not going to talk much in this video. I don't want to be playing this again. Uh, but I will mention what makes this different from the first one. Well, at a glance, it looks exactly the same, but there are definitely changes to this game. Um, one that I notice in this first level is that the, the ends of these girders have been shortened. I don't know why. Maybe they just want to make it so the, uh, make it, I, I assume their, their, per, their goal was to make this sequel a little bit harder to play. Um, but... It is virtually the same game, uh, same weird color palette thing going on, same awful sound effects. They just changed it up just a little bit so they can justify making this a second uh, board. You could swap out the first uh, game's cabinet with, but yeah. It's Donkey Kong again. I can see that awful Donkey Kong sprite is still here. Um, I'll be making an effort to try to speedrun this game in particular because I spent long enough playing the first game. That I don't want to be playing this game anymore. So, uh, but of course. As we know, the arcade game can get quite difficult, especially in the later stages, so I'll try my best. I, I'll do have to say that based on the uh, last game, uh, the color schemes actually look somewhat closer to the original, and I say somewhat, because it still has blue Donkey Kong. But no matter, last level, nothing's changed. But uh, there are definitely changes. It's unfortunate that said changes only appear in the second loop. Which I really don't want to. I don't want to play through a second loop of this game. Let's be fair. This game is not good. Um, that'd be tricky. Uh oh. All right. This is troublesome. I'm stuck up here. Here. 
kidding me? Quickly. And there we go. And here's one of the changes. The monkey says give up. Is that change really justified to call this uh, a sequel? Uh, not really. But uh, here's the second change. If you have a keen eye, is that now there's holes in these girders on the second loop. And that's that's really it. They just made the, the level slightly harder. Even though uh, the game does get like harder, like normally. Um, I'm just gonna like. I'll just like I'll just I'll just give up, just lose all my lives here, cause this game is as much ass as the first one. I didn't know it's Donkey Kong, uh, Crazy Kong with blue teeth. But uh, yeah, I don't think. Falcon has released any other games of note other than Crazy Kong. But uh this is uh these two games were uh that oh <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh cool. Uh I assume this game was based off the the like very first edition of this game. Uh, there was a bug in the first batch of uh, Donkey Kong cabinets, which essentially allowed you to warp if you jump off at a specific moment in the first level, which warps you to the top of the screen, which counts as a win. That was completely unintentional, by the way. I was not, I was not hoping to execute that, but I'm, I'm sort of glad I, I kind of did. I did, because it's funny. But anyways, these Crazy Kong games are a fun uh, detour, a fun uh, side note in the the history of Mario. But overall, I would not recommend you play this over the original. But yeah, that's it. That's that's Crazy Kong, part two. Uh, come back next time, and we'll finally be back in normalcy. Uh, I'll catch you. I'll, I'll catch you later.